Exploring your options and applying through clearing couldn't be easier. But before you make the call and get in touch with us, it's always worth just having a few things to hand to help us out. Firstly, do a little bit of research, have a look online, explore the website, and just see what courses are available to you. Once you've had a little look, maybe made a bit of a decision, that's when it's a good time to give us a ring. After that, make sure you've got your UCAS ID to hand if you've got one. If you haven't, don't worry, you can provide that later. Also, make sure you've got your grades in front of you, that being your level two grades, your GCSE results, and your more recent level three grades, your A-levels and your BTECs. The advisor will then ask for those grades over the phone, and they'll be able to use that with our system to see whether we can make you an offer on those courses that you might be interested in. If you've already applied to university, you might also already have a personal statement, so make sure you've got that to hand as well. This whole process can take a little bit of time when we're asking for all your details, so please do be patient with us. At the end of a conversation, they may well make you an offer. That's gonna be a verbal offer. It could be a verbal conditional offer or a verbal offer, depending if you've already got your results or not. You can get as many offers from as many universities as you want, and you can think about what's important to you, look at the options, do some further research, then when you're ready, jump onto your UCAS track and add the university and the course that's most appealing to you as your clearing option on track, and that will be the course that you move forward with as your primary choice to start university. If you're a new applicant for this cycle and you haven't yet got a UCAS application sorted, do make sure you look into that, create your UCAS account and get moving with the application. Because in order to add a verbal offer onto track, you need to have completed the application process beforehand to enable you to do so. If you're already holding a place on UCAS and you wish to attend a different university, you will need to decline your offers through UCAS track. Please be aware that declining your firm choice will not automatically put you into your insurance choice. When you decline that offer, you will automatically be placed into clearing. As you can see, the process of applying through clearing is quite simple, but if you're unsure about anything or have any questions, our advisors are available over the phone or via our social platforms. So please do get in touch, don't hesitate. And obviously, good luck with the whole process and hopefully we'll see you in September.